Hey guys, I'm Josh Brooks and I'm the Digital Marketing Director here at Hardhead Veterans. Today we're at the Sweetwater Rifle and Pistol Club range and we're going to be shooting one of our Gen 2 helmets with an up armor plate on it. Now our up armor plates are made by a company called Adept Armor that you might have heard of. And the reason we're shooting these today, one is to show you the capabilities of what these things can do when you put them on your helmet, and two is because we see a lot of people that are still confused about the capabilities of a modern ballistic helmet. With most modern ballistic helmets, what you're looking at is an NIJ3A plus rated item. That means in resistance to penetration testing, we're stopping up to a 44 Magnum and a worst case scenario impact. That's, this is what that looks like. What it doesn't mean is that the helmet is entirely incapable of stopping a rifle threat in a combat situation. Here's an example of that happening. Oh, that was a hit. Now, if you want to stop a rifle threat 100% of the time, you're going to need something like our up armor system. And that's one of the reasons we're out here today. I'm going to show you exactly what this thing can do by shooting with an AK-47 and an AR-15. Let's get it, Cody. All right, guys, first shot on the up armor is going to be X-Tac M855 being fired out of the Daniel Defense, the DDM-4. Uh, let's get it, Cody. Yeah, there we go. Ready? All right, moment of truth, Cody. Shot in three, two, one. All right, weapon is clear on safe. Aim down range, let's go ahead and take this off. So this is the first time we're using these headphones. These are a styrofoam, so they're a little bit different than what we're used to. As you can see, we blasted away the plate. We can uh, actually just kind of pull this off of here entirely uh, now that we blasted the plate out. And we can see where that 5.56 round hit. Right there, let's go ahead and take the helmet off. We're stuck on Bob's head a little bit. See, we're not using our micro lattice pads, we're using our standard pads. And pull these back so you guys can see the inside of the helmet. And again, Cody will probably take some extra shots of this inside so you guys get a better look at it. All right, next helmet, AK-47. You ready, Cody? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, 762 by 39 This is Max Tech Ammo. We're shooting it out of the PSA AK. You ready, Cody? Let's do it. Let's do it. Shot in three, two, one. All right, magazine's empty. AK's clear and on safe. Let's go ahead and take a look at Bob here. We see we had about the same effect where that up armor plate came off entirely. Take this off. We got a little bit more back face deformation on this one, but as we can see, Bob is number one A-OK. -okay. He's definitely got a bit of a headache though after that. It's a lot of kinetic energy going through. Pull these pads out. Again, these are just our, our standard pads. They're not micro lattice. And again, Cody's gonna show you a second view of this, but you can see it right out here where that 7.62 round hit. We've got a bit of back face deformation, but definitely no penetration. And that's a shot from 10 feet. Ballistic up armor, guys, it's not a new concept. It's been around since World War I. The Germans were the first ones to do it. They put a steel plate on the stall helm. Now, the difference is, instead of having an eight pound plate on the front of your helmet, you now only need a one pound piece of ceramic. Our up armor systems are made by Adept Armor. They're some of the best in the industry when it comes to this stuff. They're gonna run you about $300. If rifle threats are something you seriously think you're going to be facing a worst case scenario impact with in your daily work, we highly recommend checking this system out. It's going to provide you a lot of peace of mind. It's very modular, easy on, easy off. Now, if you've got any questions, go ahead and head down to the comment section. You can ask us anything you want. I'll be down there answering all of the questions personally. And uh, maybe while you're down there, you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll see our next little backyard experiment. Anyways, until next time, Hardhead Veterans, out.